This is Joker Apps and today we are doing one click upload tutorial. So let's first create a project and set up. On clicking the button we will choose the file so we have to create a file picker component ok so here we are selecting mime type all if we choose some other mime type this text will be some different but in all it looks like that so here on files pick it uh, on files pick cancelled we will show the toast that file pick action is cancelled and on files pick it as our best practice we will surround our code and try and catch block First, we will assign that value to a string. And uh, in the catch, we will show a message. In a text view, I will show the file name And after one second, I will start uploading the file. F to upload, uh, I am uploading on Firebase. So we have to enable Firebase library from the settings. And we have to configure it. For that you can watch our that tutorial. Okay, so after configuration, I will create a Firebase storage component. On upload progress, we will show the progress with a file name in the text view.
uh, oh so we don't have a text view let's add a text view and change the text view id where we want to set the text okay let's compile and test it um, task cannot be resolved so we have to add import statement for that i will use a sketchware pro here i will add a event import inside it i will add the imported statement com.google.jms.android dot uh, yeah something like that dot task is dot task looks like there is something wrong app crashes um, actually my phone does not shows crash log i have to try multiple times quickly so i can uh, catch it so we have the crash log here and uh, the issue is that user does not have access to that if we go to firebase and web browser and their storage bucket url rules here you can see if auth is not equal to null that means uh, if user is logged in but i am not using login that's just a demo app so i will set simple rules just true um it is not saving uh, yeah if true now rules are good now we can upload our files in android phones there is a little problem that from phone memory you can pick files but from SD card you need special permissions we are not uh, focusing on that today that's the topic for another okay so you guys might be thinking there's not a one click upload that is a select and upload but you can also create one click upload now we are going to create that we will add a button and uh, from some predefined path we will upload the file this is useful when you want to upload uh, data of some specific app and you know exact location where all phones store that file I will copy file path of a uh, random file. I want to use it. I want to use it as example. So I will paste it here and uh, delete it from that point because we have that already in form of that block get external storage directory. I think I have that extra block I will delete it. Uh, 
um i think there is still something wrong ah so i forgot that slash here okay okay uh, and here we are showing uh, the text and that we are using get last segment path of s then this will throw an exception because s is empty and we cannot get last segment path from it After removing my storage bucket URL, I will upload this project. If you want to use it, you have to use your own storage bucket and link to that project store can be found in description. You can download it from there. Now our project store is available on the Google Play Store. Thank you guys for your support. See you in next video. Love you all.